we're going to talk about murder, we have to talk about Mogo. Mogo was a farmer in Kenya in 1929, Kenya province. He was a squatter farmer, which meant he worked on land uh, owned by a landowner. Um, and he had the right to graze his own livestock and build a hut along with the other squatter farmers. Uh, and he was on contract. And one day in 1929, Mogo had a very bad day <laughs> because his contract was severed by the landowner because he was a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Mogo was a wizard and people didn't like that. And it was causing a lot of untoward commotion on the farm. Work wasn't getting done. People were complaining because he was, after all, a fucking wizard. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was fired and told to leave the land by the end of the day. So Mogo went back to the little squatter farmer village uh, to collect his stuff and then to go to the hut of the first person there who had accused him of being a wizard some time ago and killed him with a spear. And then he killed his wife with a spear, and then his daughter with a spear, and then nine other people with a spear, um, which of course raised alarm. The landowner sent for the local police. Uh, the police arrived to find Mogo gathering up his livestock with whatever possessions he had ready to go. And they said, Mogo, you are a wizard and you appear to have killed quite a lot of people. What's the deal? <laughs> Mogo quite cheerfully showed them the 12 corpses, 12 people he killed, and then he turned to the landowner who had accompanied the police and demanded his severance pay before he left. <laughs> <coughs> because Mogo was a murderer, and murderer, murderers are all about making their lives better. This is the root of murder. We kill people because they annoy us. <laughs> you, look, you look at most non-pathological murder cases and it's about someone removing someone else from their lives who is impairing their ability to live happily. In Mogo's case, all these people have called him a fucking wizard. <laughs> and in fact, his wife wouldn't sleep with him anymore because he was a wizard. And his daughter wouldn't give him food because he was a wizard. And he knew that if he'd left these people alive and gone to somewhere else, the rumour would have followed, Mogo, he's a fucking wizard, you know. Don't give him anything to eat. In order to live well, in order to live happily, in order to improve his own quality of life, he needed to kill 12 people with a big sharp shitty stick. <laughs> This is what murderers do. They are the impassioned hobbyists of the field of death. <laughs> um, which, of course, makes them interesting. Um, but it comes down to murder is the exertion of will against the things that make your life that which you do not want. It's, it's exhortation of will to improve how you live. Most murders are about making the murderer happier. We kill the people who annoy us. We kill the people who bug us. We kill the people who bog us down and make life sad and gray and dark and dull and flat and ordinary. These are the people we kill. This is why most murders are domestic because the person we kill pisses us off and makes us sad. Um, and this is why Agatha Christie always said murder is easy. 